hello everyone in this video we will see how to connect sql server with python and how to fetch tables insert the data and execute some queries so let's start uh, when working with the data frames uh, we require special libraries like sql alchemy so what we do is open our python environment and just install sql alchemy so if i see i have already installed sql alchemy uh, the seek I'll show you the versions over here so for SQL Alchemy. I have installed 2.0.20 for pandas. I have installed 2.0.3 and PyoDVC 4.0.39. I have one Python version 3.10, so that is why pandas version 2.0 is available for me. If I look over here, uh, if it is PyoDVC, pandas, and SQL Alchemy over here, yeah, okay. So let's start. So what we'll do is uh, from SQL Alchemy engine, we'll import the URL. Then from SQL Alchemy, we'll import create engine. So this will be used to create the engine to the SQL connection. Uh, we'll create a class named any class you want to name it. Let's say connection handler we are creating it. and we are initializing it as host, user, password and database. Uh, we'll create the in class variable as self host user password and db and assign the variables that is passed over here then we'll depict it the driver so for our initial instance the driver is sql server uh, initially the connection string we'll create as the connections that the sql asks us to write so first driver the name of the driver then server name so port port is 143 for sql server database then user and then password that's it our query is done but if we want any of our query that is uh, update insert any of the query to auto commit then we can write and auto commit equal to true so it will automatically commit we don't have to write uh, commit dot commit dot commit dot commit so that that works internally itself now we need to create the connection URL. So in, it, uh, in order to create the URL, we'll write MS, MS SQL for the PyODBC and then the query that we created with ODBC underscore connect and the connection string that we created over here. In, this, in the engine, we'll ask it to create the engine with, with the connection URL that we just created over here and we'll just say echo equal to false and a set input size is equal to false. So echo, it basically writes whatever the engine and all, it gives us a print statement. That's why I'm saying false. I don't want anything to be written for me. Uh, then we create the DB connection and then hit engine underscore connect. I've created a function to fetch the data. Whenever our query is passed, I am, I am returning the date pandas data frame for the query. For that, I'll say pd dot read SQL, the pandas function for the query, and then the connection is passed over here. Then for inserting the data, I ask the data frame to insert to the SQL what table name. If the table name as it exists, it will not recreate the data, it will append if the table already exists. And then we'll ask the data frame the index to be ignored over here and the connection itself. And then for the execute query, let's say uh, we have a stored procedure and we want to run the procedure exec, uh, exec sp name and then we can write the query over here and we'll execute the stored procedure. Again, we don't have to commit because we have already mentioned the connection string that we wanted to auto commit. Now this is the destructor. Let's say for some time your connection is built up but you don't want, you are not using it and it would be using your space. So we are saying it if the connection was built at any instance and for some time you are not being able, you are not able to use the connection or somewhat. So it will uh, free up your space. And this is basically the garbage thing, basically a garbage collector over here. Uh, so let's create the connection. Okay. Uh, and I'm fetching the data over here. So wait a minute and it will take some time. I'll tell you why. Uh, However, so basically initially we are using the SQL server as the driver. So we have written the value, although my table does not contain any value. That is why it is showing empty because see, this is my table. So test column is the column and there's no data over there. However, it took quite a lot of time. And why is that? Because it is, a, it is saying that whatever you can find as a driver for the SQL server, please use it. 
sometimes uh, when there is some particular uh, issues or the SSL SSL issues when within the company or itself so you won't be able to use the SQL server uh, as the driver name itself what you would have to do a dedicated driver that is installed on the server or on the local itself so this statement would be working and how to find what you need to write is you will write odbc driver space for me is driver driver 17 for sql server how to define the number whether it is 17 19 16 or 13 go to your control panel go to the programs and features then you can find the odbc driver what that has been installed on your local it, if it is 17 just type it over here 17 and if I run it again with the driver over here, see it instantly works. If I quit the kernel, directly reconnect it, see how fast it is. That's why use a dedicated driver over here and you can fetch the data. Uh, in order to insert the data, similarly, just pass the data frame, the data will be inserted to the table itself. Execute query again, how will I how will ask? Uh, let's say ch dot execute query execute query sorry execute query and let's say your query is exec exec uh, query name uh, sp name sp name ah, that's it your stored procedure will work and we're done